Hi guys, my name is Luca. I'm a two-year-old corgi living in Pennsylvania. And in this video, I'm going to show you a day in my life. My day starts around 7 a.m. when my mom comes down and lets me out of the crate. The first thing I need to do is a full body stretch. And then I get lots of pets from my mom. And then I roll on my back because I also need a lot of belly rubs to start my day. I roll around on the carpet a little bit until my mom is ready to give me treats. So I have to take a pill in the morning because I'm allergic to grass or pollen or something outside that makes my paws itchy. But I'm okay taking the pill because my mom wraps it in cheese and I love cheese. Then I go inspect my food bowl because my mom usually will slip some treats into my food bowl to entice me to eat my kibble. Which I am right, there's some ripped up cheese so I pretty much just eat the ripped up cheese and leave the kibble because I love human food, I love cheese, kibble I'm a little ambivalent on. I lay on the couch waiting for my mom to take me out for the first time today and when she finally tells me it's time to go outside, I just jump over the back of the couch because why not? As a corgi, you don't really face any consequences. I'm a little hesitant to go outside because it's summer in Pennsylvania which is very hot for a corgi with a big fur coat but once I get outside it's not bad. We got to play some fetch, which is one of my favorites. My mom was convinced that she was going to take me on a walk today, even though I was definitely not up for it. It wasn't that bad once we started get going, I just needed a little bit of encouragement. I got to see one of my neighborhood doggy friends named Daisy, which was fun, and I also got to get a lot of pets from her owner, which is always fun too. Once I got back from the walk, I had to check to see if there were any more treats in my food bowl, which sadly there were not, so I just got a drink of water. Then my sister woke up so it was time to get my morning pets from her and I also threw in some licks for her because I love licking people and really licking anything. Now that all my morning activities are out of the way, I get to start my favorite activity which takes up the majority of my day, which is laying. But I'll accept pets from my owners and I'll also throw in some shakies during the day. I do like to mix up my laying spaces though, I lay all around the house. When I hear the microwave beep, I know that my mom is making lunch, so I have to come up and be ready to beg for food from her. For lunch today, it's a cheese and turkey sandwich, which I approve of. I beg from many different angles to really maximize the amount of food that my mom will give me. My mom also has some chicken noodle soup which she lets me lick the bowl. So overall I'm feeling pretty good about the amount of human food I got from her lunch today. I go back to my favorite activity of laying as I'm waiting for my mom to take me out. I also get some pets from my sister while I'm waiting, so really no complaints there. I'm hesitant to go outside again, but once I'm out, it's not bad at all.
My mom and I play some catch, which I really like, until she throws it just a little too far and I decide that I'm just done playing fetch for the day. Another thing I really enjoy doing is just exploring around the house, even though I know where everything is. I just like to make sure that nothing has changed since I've last been outside. I also sit on the nice hot concrete and somehow this just doesn't bother me at all. After lunch, it's my turn to watch the neighborhood and make sure that nobody is getting out of line outside. I take this job very seriously. Then it's time for an afternoon nap. Around 4 p.m. I get up from my nap and I'm ready to play. I love playing fetch and I also like to play tug of war which I can pretty much disguise as playing fetch as it's very hard to get the toy away from me. And then I abruptly decide that I'm done playing and that I have a big itch. My sister comes to give me more pets so I give her some lickies in return. My second favorite activity after laying is definitely chewing, so I grab one of my many chew toys and start grinding away. I give my sister some more lickies and then I lay a little bit, and then finally someone's willing to pay attention to me so I get some pets from dad. We play some more, which is basically just tug of war at this point, with very little fetching in between. At around 5.30 p.m. it's now time for my dinner. My owners are having tacos tonight and my mom mixed in some of the taco meat with my kibble so I'm one happy pupper. Still, I did some minimal begging and I got to lick my owner's plates which always makes me happy. After dinner I laid a bit and then I received the great news that we were going to the park which is just about my favorite place in the world. I got to chase after my sister while she was running, and I also got to swim in the creek. When we got home, my mom turned on the hose, which I love to bite. I also made the rounds outside to get pets from my dad and my sister. Once I got inside, it was time to lay again. I was very tired. But then my mom sat down and I decided to give her some licks too. At 8.30, it was time for me to go out for the last time of the day. I had been up for 14 hours and I was tired. Once I had done my business, I was ready to come in and get my last treat of the night. Unfortunately, since I don't have hands, it's hard for me to eat my treat without dropping it all over the floor. I got a couple of more pets right before I was going in my crate for the night. Good night! <laughs>